Mullins asks for the football. Cameron Tom delivers it. Mullins drops to throw, steps up in the pocket. Over the middle, pass caught by Robertson. He's going to get the first down as he carries it out to near the 40-yard line. That's a good throw and a good catch there. And a third in the backfield with Mullins in the shotgun. Smith in motion now, left to right. Hand off Payne, trying to swing around the left side at the 35. Cuts up at the 40, across the 45. Finally bumped out of bounds, out around the 47, maybe the 48-yard line by Deshaun Smith. They're going to put it down at the 40. Payne is the right halfback as Smith the left halfback as Nick works off the left hash out of the shotgun. Third down and three for Southern Miss at their 47, opening possession of the ball game. Mullins takes a snap, drops quickly, throws over the middle. That one's going to be caught by Julian Allen, the tight end. He's got a first down and more as he drives down to the 38 of Utah for a Golden Eagle first down. Tackle made by Edo Smith is uh, the running back alongside of Nick Mullins, who works out of the shotgun, just in from the left hash. Mullins takes a stamp, drops to throw over the middle, got a man that's going to be caught by Staggers. He's going to take it down to near the 14-yard line. Seanfield waiting. They snap back and down, kick on the way. Plenty long enough, and that one's going to be good. So the Golden Eagles take the opening kickoff and get three points out of it on about a 33-yard field goal by Seanfield. 9.20 to go here in the opening quarter. Greenlee with Jones along his left side, double receivers to the right side, single receiver left side. Greenlee takes the snap, looks to throw, being pressured, and got hit and falls down, and he threw it forward for an Looks like Thompson and Staggers to the right side. Mullins looks right, pump fakes, still looking, comes back over the middle, got a man caught by Holmes, who goes down around the 40-yard line. He was going pretty good, but he got his feet kind of tangled up on this artificial surface, but he hung on, went to the 40, first down Southern Miss. Yeah, right. On second down at about five for the Golden Eagles. Five receivers set now with the two running backs out there. Mullins takes the snap, going to run it himself and break through at the 15 and slides out near the 25 as he picks up a first down. They'll mark him down. Greenlee up under center, takes the snap and hands it off in the backfield. There's another tackle for a loss for the Golden Eagles as Dylan Bradley was able to get in there that time. First down at 10, two backs in the backfield with the Mullins. Play action fake. Nick under pressure. Going to throw it up the middle. Got a man caught by DJ, and he hung on. He took a shot as he caught it at a 40, but the old veteran hung on. Again, a three-receiver set. Thompson, the lone wide receiver to the right side. Payne in motion out of the backfield. Hand off to, nope, Nick's going to, yeah, he gets it to Ito. Ito around the right side. Sidesteps a tackler. Bumped out of bounds around the 35. There's a flag coming down at the end of the play. It was a beautiful ball fake by Nick Mullins, who left it in the belly. Of Edo Smith, he turned it into a nice run before, firstly, the outside. Double receiver stacked left, single receiver right. Smith in motion, right to left, out of the backfield. Mullins throws it into the end zone. A comebacker caught for a touchdown. Touchdown, Southern Miss. D.J. Thompson put on the brakes, a little comebacker, and Mullins put it right there, and the Golden Eagles have regained the lead on the six-yard touchdown pass from Mullins to Thompson. Uh, uh, Nick saw something right there in coverage-wise where he saw a one-on-one. And Greenlee takes the snap, back pedals to throw. Under pressure, oh, he's going to be sacked. Couple of Golden Eagles got him. Back inside the 15-yard line led by Dylan Bradley. Bradley was there, Thigpen was there, Ruff was all there. And they get a big sack back inside the 15, back at the 12 end for Sean Kugler's ball club. And he'll kick it on its way, and Staggers chasing it down, fields it at the 47 of the Eagles, across the 50 to the 45. Left side lines at the 40, slides past the tackler, still on his feet, finally bumped out of bounds down around the 28-yard line of the Miners. That's a heck of a return. So Mullins all by himself back there. Mullins takes a stamp, backpedals the throw, throws underneath, caught by Ito. Ito at the 20, cuts to the outside, breaks a tackle. Ito at the 10, he's going to score. Touchdown, Southern Miss. What a nifty catch and run by Ito Smith. Triple receivers right, single receiver left for Greenlee. He takes a snap, backpedals the throw, fires up the field. That's over everybody's head, tipped and intercepted by the Golden Eagles, falling down out there playing center field for the Golden Eagles. They get the interception. I think that was Curtis Michael back there who may have come up with the interception. Eagles got a hand on it, and waiting back there in center field was 
Mullins takes a stamp, looking to throw, sits in the pocket, fires long down the field, got a man, and a diving, leaping catch made by the Golden Eagles down around the 10, and that was D.J. Thompson who climbed the ladder again and snagged it for an Eagle first down at the 10-yard line. Mullins going to hand it off, big hole up the middle for Edo, and he's going to get inside the five-yard line. For the hole. But right there inside the 10, gashed him. Mullins takes a quick snap, throws it left side, caught out there by the Golden Eagles. That's a touchdown, Southern Miss. They found over the left side, Staggers. He just walks into the end zone, had a blocker out in front of him, walks into the end zone, touchdown, Southern Miss. Greenlee out of the shotgun is going to hand it on a draw play to Jones. Dylan Bradley got him in the backfield and dropped him for a four-yard loss. How about DB? Yeah, just kind of a slow development. Greenlink takes the snap, plants it fake, looks to throw under pressure, throws it into the end zone. It's going to be intercepted by the Golden Eagles. They've got it headed down the right sidelines. Here comes Curtis Michael. Michael down the right sidelines. He's going to go all the way, folks. That's a Golden Eagle touchdown, 100-yard touchdown on the interception return by Curtis Michael. And they'll take the snap. Metz looking to throw under pressure over the middle. Batted away by Denarius Antoine. But I formation. They hand it to the fullback. Lafusa, he got turned back, and the Eagles going to take over on downs. Lafusa ran into a stone wall up there on that defensive front for the Golden Eagles. He actually lost about a under center. Brings a man in motion. Now is going to hand it back to the deep back, Wadley who got just back to the line of scrimmage. The ball came loose out of there, and it's still loose. And did the Eagles get it? I think the Eagles got on top of it. They did. DeShadrick truly is the guy that came up with it. Uh, Wadley was trying to stretch for an extra yard. Somebody punched it out of there and truly falls on it out at the 33-yard line of the Miners. Sears in a hole, back down, kick on the way, plenty long enough, and it's going to be good. So Parker Seanfield's got his second field goal of the night. And the Golden Eagles make it a 34-7 ball game. Ito right there along his right hip. Hand off Ito up the right side. Big hole. Ito at the 50. The 45 cuts to the outside. Bangs a tackler down and goes out of bounds. Down around the 35-yard line. Hobson heading across the field. So is Sean Kugler. And the Golden Eagles were down at one time 7-3. But 21 points in the final Six or seven minutes of the second quarter gave them a 24-7 halftime lead, and the Golden Eagles going to win it tonight, 34-7 over the UTEP Miners. Eagles going to improve to three and one on the year. UTEP going to fall to one and three, and the Eagles now one and zero in Conference USA. The Miners go to zero and one. The Golden Eagles next week.